I'm on the, let's see, Glenwood Canyon Trail, Recreational Trail. And I just, well, you can't see it, crossed over a bridge that went over I-70. It's taken me a while to find this path, but I found it. So here we go. Looks pretty. Hello and welcome to Traveling Marlins. I'm Gail. And I'm Mark. And this week is going to be a little unique. I rode Glenwood Canyon Trail. It's a beautiful tra trail no matter if you're going to ride your bike or walk or jog, take photographs. It is absolutely beautiful. And so that's what you're going to see this week. She kicked me to the curb this week so you won't <laughs> see much of me. but. Next week, we'll be taking you down to Uray, Colorado, uh, and the campground that we were in had 75 FJ cruisers, you know, from the 46 series, the 60 series, and 80 series, and we were parked right next to a couple of neat guys from Minnesota, and uh, we'll introduce you to them and show you some of their machines, and I think you'll like it along some other things we did in Uray. Yes, yes. So. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll take you to our, one of our favorite parks owned by some friends of ours up in uh, Pagosa Springs, Colorado. And uh, we'll show you that park and introduce you to Randy and Jenny. And it's a great place and uh, you will definitely like it. Yeah, so stay with us and you're gonna see some really cool stuff. See you then. And I'd like to take this opportunity to please ask you to subscribe. Consider subscribing just hit that subscribe button and if you want notifications I suggest the black bell so you'll get everything and if you don't want any just hit none. Thank you a lot and thank you so much for all of you who have already subscribed. Thanks. All right I found a sign. Finally okay Glenwood Canyon Trail to the right. So, I came from up there. I thought the trail was on the other side of the highway, so I went over there and uh, thought I was gonna have to walk my bike down a bunch of stairs, but then I saw an elevator. So I took it and couldn't figure it out because there is a, looks like a pathway over there, but I guess it's, it's not the bike trail. So I asked someone and they said it was over here. But this is a neat area, and I parked the pickup right over there. All right, so the search continues. Oh, here we go. No, Hotwood Pool Entrance. Where is the trail? Okay, there's a sign right there. So what does that mean? Straight? There's no arrow? I guess I'll go straight. I guess, I guess. We'll know in a little bit. This doesn't really look right. Hey, we're here. Okay. This is it. Woo -woo! And now that I have found it, it's almost time for me to head back. Great. Okay. Well, so far, it's pretty. But, you're right along Interstate 70. It is supposed to go along the Colorado River somewhere. Here we go. Looks like we're gonna cross and then be by the river. All right. Thank you. 
signs to watch for bear. So, if we see one, which I hope we do, but I hope it's far away. But close enough for me to record it for you. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? This is the other place where I first stopped to park. And I didn't feel comfortable parking my car right here. Interesting. Now I'm back on a road, which now I know what this road's gonna do. It's gonna go up a hill. First of all, this cannot be all of this trail because it says it's 14 miles. But I don't particularly wanna go up this hill. Hmm, let me turn around. I'm gonna to have to do some more research. I've only ridden about almost three miles and it comes to a road where I first parked my car but I didn't feel comfortable parking it there. Hang on, there's a map. Okay, Glenwood Springs. So I crossed over right there. You are here. No, it still wants me to go up that road. Well, maybe next time I will park up there by Canyon, uh, what's it called? Glenwood Springs RV Resort, which we've stayed there before, ironically, and go the other direction. Hmm, okay. Yep, I don't really wanna go up that hill. It is a hill. So, if I did this again, I guess I could park down there because that's after the hill and then go the other direction. This is tons better. I guess I was going uphill. Now I'm going downhill with a tailwind. And this is easy peasy. Gotta love easy peasy. Oh, I'm already back. Sweet. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's super easy. We're almost where I parked. I will show you the pool real quick. Okay, there is the pool. And it's heated by a spring, a sulfur spring. You can kind of smell the sulfur. And I have lap swimming and just a pool and little hot tub areas, a diving board. So it looks pretty cool. And it's right off the interstate, Interstate 70. And here's your surroundings. I parked right there. It's two hour parking. I'm here on a Sunday morning. So I don't know how it is during the week. I'm sure there's more people. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Good morning. Okay, I'm trying Glenwood Cam Canyon Trail again, parked at a different place. So I'm gonna see if I can find the trail this time. <laughs> uh, 
I don't see it. But I'll find it. I'm at a rest stop and it's right by Glenwood Canyon Resort. I found the trail. Oh, now which way do I go? Uh, that doesn't help. Okay. We'll just go to the left. This might be a climb coming back. May be a doozy. Gosh, isn't this beautiful? And there's a cool breeze. It's Saturday morning in July. And this is fantastic. We're leaving tomorrow, so I'm so glad I have the opportunity to do this trail. area and the other day I started way over here off the map but now I am at Grizzly Creek rest area and they even have offices right here which is kind of cool and restrooms and uh, vending machines then there's this and Shoshone to the lake no I think it's Blair I read that from here to here is closed but I don't know if it's still closed or not but I am going to head back and make it back to the car and then have some lunch with Mark it's kind of old but at least it's nice and you've got some restrooms well I shouldn't say nice you know what I mean well if you're not a cyclist you won't know, know what I mean <laughs> but there's bathrooms and, a, and water and hydration right here and snacks so that's what makes it nice but i could have sworn i saw offices here but i guess i'm mistaken it's still nice to be able to stop at a place like this
That looks like fun. Rafting down the river. And now you can't see them. Let's see. I'm hanging the camera from my shirt, so I'm not sure what we're seeing here without stopping. I just keep taking footage after footage because this is so beautiful and I'm gonna have a time cutting it so you don't have like an hour <laughs> of cycling. But oh, I wish everybody was here. It's beautiful. Tyler, you would love this. And Ella, it's flat. I think you'd like it too. Let me ring my bell. There we go. Good morning. So far, this has been great. I don't feel like I'm going uphill until right here. And I think I'm already to, my, to the truck. I am. That shirt was there. Well, huh. Wish I would have gone a little further, but that's okay. I appreciate the time I have on my bike. And this is going downhill. Where was that uphill? Huh. I don't know. But I'm glad I was wrong. staying here and getting to know you. Oh, here it is. Gear down. Granny gear. That's a good little climb. Another little climb. Guys, we made it. Another beautiful ride in Colorado on my mountain bike. If I had had my road bike, it would have been a little bit better. Okay, we're done. We're done. Rides like that is when I wish I had my uh, road bike. But, ah, let me get my drink. There we go. Always, always take a drink with you um yeah i wish i had my road bike darn it those people over there have their road bike i saw a lot of road bikes on the trail it seemed like it was either road bikes that was the most that i saw and then e-bikes and then mountain bikes was the last type bike that i saw so anyway i still got to ride and I'll take this bike. I got it from Gary. Thank you, Gary. Bought it from him. But uh, I take it because when we travel, I don't know what kind of trails we're going to have. I don't know if it's going to be gravel. You've seen me on some gravel or asphalt or cement. So taking a bike like that, you're pretty safe to be able to uh, cycle no matter what kind of terrain you're on. All right, well, I'm gonna start the pickup, load up, start the pickup, and hope you enjoyed the ride. I know I did.